Are these mixed reality glasses a game changer for users? With their newest product, Apple is hoping to shake up our world, just like the iPhone did. But will the impact on our future really be as huge as that? And which kind of glasses are other big tech companies envisioning for the future? Can headsets replace smartphones and computers? Let's have a look. At Apple's annual developer conference, CEO Tim Cook announced Vision Pro. It's a mixed reality headset that mirrors the user's real environment on tiny screens and blends digital apps like social media accounts or videos into it. It's equipped with 12 cameras, 5 sensors and 6 microphones. With a rather clunky external battery, the device lasts for about 2 hours until it needs to be recharged. Shipping will start in early 2024. The system works without controllers and reacts to hand and eye movement and voice commands. But the most distinguishing feature is probably this. Whenever someone is nearby, the wearer's eyes are visible from the outside. This is supposed to make conversation easier with people close by while wearing the glasses. That way, Apple is trying to reduce the feeling of being isolated. Apple is betting on a future where we use digital apps in our real work environment or watch movies on giant digital screens in our living room. This is slightly different to virtual reality, where the environment can be totally different from where you actually are. That's the direction Meta is heading in. Even though Meta's Quest goggles can be used with mixed reality, the focus is VR and to create completely digital environments where people work, play or socialize. Microsoft already has its HoloLens device on the market that digitally enhances the user's field of vision. It's mainly used by corporate clients. So the tech companies are betting on goggles, hoping they'll become as light and little invasive as sunglasses, but even though Apple announced a high-end product that would definitely take mixed reality a big step further, it is unclear who will use the device. Goggles always seem to be problematic with consumers. Think of Google Glass, for example. And also, more than half of the people that bought Meta's VR glasses Quest stopped using them after only a few months. The market for these headsets is not really big at the moment. It is estimated that 10 million devices will be sold in 2023. As a comparison, 1.2 billion smartphones were sold in 2022. Apple already decreased its sales estimation from 3 million devices to 900,000 a year. And with a whopping price of more than 3,200 euros, the goggles will mainly attract professionals and die-hard Apple fans for now. But experts think that this is part of the strategy. Apple's new device is seen as a developer tool. The hope is that over the next years, apps and possible users will be found and developed because right now, the ones Apple presented are rather underwhelming. And when that time comes, Apple could have a new device, lighter, easier, cheaper, ready for the consumer market. Whether these goggles would then replace phones or even laptops, I'm still skeptical at the moment. Or what do you think? Would you like to wear these glasses at work or on your couch? Let us know.